Hello. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the functionality of dynamic documentation in an inpatient setting. Let's get started. After opening the patient's chart, the Medical Student View mPage document will display. On the left side of this document is a menu list displaying different components that are found within your note. You have the ability to rearrange these components from top to bottom by dragging and dropping. For a medical student, free text documentation would take place in the following sections. Review of systems, objective physical exam, and subjective history of present illness. Laboratory results will be tagged. Microbiology and pathology results will be copied and pasted into your note. Lastly, you have the opportunity to enter proposed orders patient history, diagnosis, and problems. The other sections are view only. Once the different components have been reviewed and completed, you will create a history and physical note upon admission, a daily progress note during the patient's stay, and a discharge note once the patient is ready for discharge. Let's start at the beginning. In the Chief Complaint section, the patient complaint pulls forward from the nurse's note. On the right side of each component, there is a refresh button that can be found within each section when creating the note. Documentation section displays all documents completed or saved from current and previous encounters. There are several filters that allow you to review notes created 18 months, 24 hours, three days, and one week ago. Select the drop-down arrow to view additional timeframes. The note displayed can be filtered by document types, last 50 notes, and my notes only, as well as group by encounters. Within the time of service column, Notes that are in progress and completed, the date and time can be viewed. Within this section, you can view subject, note type, author, last updates, and the author who last updated the note. To review the content within saved or completed notes, click on the note type. You have the option to modify, print, view the entire document, and tag. To tag, highlight content, remove mouse and select the tag box. The tag will turn blue. Click tag icon to view items tagged. To delete tag items, click the X next to the content. After reviewing previous notes, you are now ready to start documenting within components of the note. In the review systems, objective physical exam, and subjective history of present illness, you will begin your documentation by either using an auto text template or free texting directly within the section. There are two ways to retrieve auto text templates. On your keypad, click the left bracket. A list of available templates will display. Another way to access the auto text templates is by selecting the Manage Auto Text icon. Once the Manage Auto Text M page opens, select Public tab and review list of templates that are displayed. Please remember to click the left bracket on your keypad and the name of the template. I will demonstrate how to retrieve a template for the Review of System section. On your keypad, click the left bracket and type the letters ROS. Two general review of system templates display, one for a female and male patient. Select the ROS female template and click Enter. Content will display. When done, click Save. Follow the same workflow for retrieving auto templates in both the objective physical exam and subjective history of present illness. Remember to save all charted details for each section. Within the laboratory section, the patient lab results display 
is defaulted to all visits. Review the last 24 hours, last 48 hours, and last two weeks by turning time frame filters on or off. To look back further, select the drop down arrow. These icons can be used to increase and decrease the display view. To define your view, click on the Change Filter tab, select Lab Type, click Apply. Display view will change. How to tag lab results into your note. To tag a single lab, highlight results and select the tab box icon. To tag multiple lab results, hold the control key on your keypad while selecting lab result. In both the microbiology and pathology section, the name of the test, susceptibility, growth result, organisms, source site collected, last updated and status are displayed. The display view is defaulted to the last 50 reports. You can extend your search to the last three, six, 12 months, and two years when selecting the drop down arrow. To review the lab results, click on the name of the test highlighted blue. To incorporate microbiology and pathology reports into your note, copy report content, control C, close report. Select note type, history and physical. Select the free text icon within the lab results component and paste result, control V. To return to the previous content, select the back arrow or house icon. Intake, outtake, and allergy components are view only. Within the order profile component, the display view is defaulted to all active orders. Select from the drop down arrow all orders, all status option to view all current, completed, discontinued, and future orders. The order profile component is broken into clinical categories from top to bottom. When patients are admitted, the admit to inpatient or place in observation order display within the admit, transfer, discharge status section. You will notice an order called ED decision for hospitalization. This is not an admission order. This order is entered by the ED provider. When a patient is fully admitted, the verbiage inpatient or observation appears in the demographic toolbar above. In the new order entry component, you are able to enter proposed orders and forward them to your attending or resident. Type the name of the order in the search window. A list of order details will display below. Select the order and enter the resident or attending name in the physician name search window. Click OK. A number will appear in the order signature box. Click on the number. The order for signature window will open with options to modify, save, and sign. Select sign. Proposed orders will display. Next, sign the order and proposed order will display within the order profile window. Inform the attending or resident that proposed orders were entered. Proposed orders are active once the attending or resident review and sign them. To review order favorites, click Mine, Public, and Shared. Within the History component, select Procedure, Family, and Social tabs to review history's content. To add procedure histories, enter name of procedure in the search window. Select procedure name from drop-down list. Add procedure date, location, and provider name if applicable. Click Save and procedure information will display within the histories window. In the Diagnosis and Problems component, click the drop-down arrow in the Add As box to view this visit, this visit and chronic, 
or chronic problems. To review our previous dispositive problems, select the drop down arrow. This component is view only. Once you have documented and reviewed all components, select the appropriate note type. Since we already copied and pasted the microbiology report in the history and physical note type, select the forward arrow. To return to the previous component, select the back arrow and house key icon. Be careful not to create a duplicate note by selecting history or physical note type again. Remember to utilize the back forward arrow or house key icon when toggling back and forth. Your note is opened. The tag item appears on the left side of your note. Drag and drop tag content in the appropriate section. Tag labs will automatically pull forward to the lab results component. At the top of each section are three icons. One icon allows you to refresh, enter a free text, and to delete the section. To delete a single line, click on the X at the end of the sentence. If you delete the entire section by mistake, click on the undo arrow to retrieve content. To save your note, select the Save button, then OK. To access your saved note, select the documentation component in Dynamic Documentation. Click Sign Submit button below to sign your note. Next, review and verify the name of the note type. If the name of the note type is incorrect, select the correct note type from the drop-down list. Enter your resident's name in the provider name window. The provider selection search window opens. Select resident's name and click OK. To add resident as a favorite, select the star next to the resident's name. Click on Submit to forward note to resident. For additional learning, select the eCoach link located on the toolbar. Here, you will have the ability to review provider documentation quick tips. Some key points to remember. After entering proposed orders, inform your attending or resident that orders were entered. Make sure to select the correct note type. Remember to utilize the back forward arrow or house key icon when toggling back and forth from the medical student dynamic doc and page to your created note. For additional workflow questions, please consult with your attending or resident you have been assigned to. This concludes the medical student dynamic documentation video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.